we're asked to select the correct description. It looks like all the descriptions deal with what is the limit of f of x as we approach 6 from either the uh, right hand side or from the left hand side. So let's think about that. So first let me just do the left hand side. So the limit of f of x as we approach 6 from the left hand side, what is this going to be equal to? So as we approach from the left hand side, we can see well, f of 4 is a little under 2, f of 5 is, looks like it's around 3, f of 5.5 is looks like it's a lot higher, f of 5.75 even, it's just going off the chart. So it looks like this is going unbounded in the positive direction. So we could say that this right over here is positive infinity. And if we were to go, if we were to think about the limit of f of x as we approach 6 from the right side, what is this going to be? Well here, f of 7, it's negative. f of 7.5 is even more negative. f of 7, sorry, f of 6.5 is even more negative, not 7. f of 6.5 is even more negative. f of 6.1 is even way more negative than that. f of 6.01 would be even more negative than that. So it looks like this is unbounded in the negative direction. So this is negative infinity. So let's see which of our choices match up to that. So the way they listed it, they listed the right, the the right, uh, the limit from the right direction first. So that's this one. So the limit of f of x as x approaches six from values greater than six, we have negative infinity. So that is these two choices. These two choices say that. So we're going to rule out those two choices. And then we think about as we approach six from the left hand side we see that we go to positive infinity. And that is this choice right over here. So we rule out that one. And uh, that is what we will pick.